Motorsports coverage of the STP 400 at Kansas Speedway. I'm Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip. Mike, a very entertaining racetrack to come to. A lot of things in the area right here around the racetrack to go and do. And I tell you the thing that the drivers have got to pay attention to, those big cracks in the racetrack with the dark sealer. You'll see them. They're really, uh, they really upset your race car. you got to be aware of those. Kansas is a mile and a half track, but it's no cookie cutter. It has its own unique challenges. Out here in the Great Plains, they love their stock car racing. Big crowd on hand for today's running. Let's find out who's best in the Midwest. Hello everybody and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the 11th race of our NASCAR 15 season here as we try to chase down a championship for Dale Earnhardt Jr. As you can see here we're driving our number 88 trying to bring home the victory here the Mountain Dew machine ready to go we qualified back here about mid pack we're already trying to go three wide with Kurt Busch and AJ Allmendinger as we head down the front stretch now we are 17th we qualified about 18th. So now we're working our way by Jeff Gordon, trying to get up on the inside of Brian Vickers and the 41 of Kurt Busch. Greg Biffle, your race here at the moment, and get this race underway down the back stretch now. Trying to hang on to positions and get some uh, bounce back finishes here after a couple of, you know, the struggling 20th place at Talladega. It was a salvage finish, but still not the way we wanted to end that one there. And up into the wall goes Kevin Harvick as we made a little bit of contact with him. As now we proceed back down the front straightaway here, going after Kurt Busch, Marks Jr. Kurt Busch, that's the initial fastest lap of the race here in the opening lap. Now we're going to dive in the way on the inside into Clint Boyer, and around he goes, and the caution will come out. We go too deep into the corner and send Clint Boyer spinning into the turn two wall. As we see right there, we just send in way too deep, Clint Boyer, and around he goes hard into the wall, into Kevin Harvick. And Boyer in the wall. More cars blinks me. I mean, guys, the back are just spinning each other. I don't know what they're on about, but there you go. We're under caution for the first time on lap two in Kansas. We're going to stay on the racetrack here, restart in 11th, trying to work our way to the front of the field now. Uh, clear Kurt Bush, and now try to go underneath Carl Edwards and the Mobile One machine is Tony Stewart into the first corner here. We're going to be three wide. We make the move happen here following the Penske duo of Kozlowski. They're on our Denny Hamlin slow in the middle. We get into the back of him up into Logano, up into the wall. He goes, hold on, and now we're trying to go on the inside lane here. Tony Stewart fits underneath us somehow. As we continue to race our way into the corner three and four, we get to the back of Stewart. Give Tony a big bump up into Denny Hamlin. We are now completely sideways on the racetrack. We make an incredible save. Merge back up and we get turned by Kevin Harvick and McMurray finishes up. Us, and we are spinning through the infield grass here in Kansas after we were just we were racing we had made an incredible save came back up to merge and Kevin Harvick just stumps us and Jamie McMurray finishes the job just hooks us sends us spinning nothing we could do right there and just not happy about how that one went right there and so we pit of course and we restart in last place here and we get a great jump here on this restart going on the outside already trying to gain our third and fourth spots this restart get up in the top 40 now Turning on the outside of Cole Witt and Chayette as we continue to try to make a comeback here after a rough start to the race. Qualified well, was doing pretty good until we got into boy in that last year. And now we're slamming to the back of the four of Harvick up into the wall. He goes, I mean, that's what he gets for wrecking us on that last restart. But myself, Harvick and Jeff Gordon get dropped back because you all got stacked up on the outside lane in one and two. So now we're in Ryan Blaney's draft here in three and four. We're going to slide way up the racetrack here. We're going to keep our foot in it and get into the back of the 21 sail by in the bottom get by him and Boyer now try to work to the inside of Chase Elliott Ooh, more contact now 21 he goes we go dive into one and two in the back of McMurray we're sliding up the track we keep it in there and we managed to hold on and get a nice run here next to the corner back to Boyer trying to fit in between him and Jamie McMurray here in the corner we give Boyer the bumper off the track he goes there we go to the inside of Kislowski big stack into the 26 of Burton into Kyle Busch and off the track we goes hard in the wall Kyle Busch just wrecked us with Casey Mears and a hard hit brings out the third caution of the night already here in Kansas we were just getting to rhythm and then Kyle Busch completely slams myself Casey Mears and Jeb Burton up the racetrack and the 13 goes spinning into the pit lane and it's not the way we have heavy engine damage so we are absolutely gonna come down and get this repaired we got big engine damage we got right from fender damage there after that hard hit in the outside wall thanks to Kyle Bush. and once again we're back in last place having to make up all of those positions once again here with 18 to go we'll be right behind Kevin Harvick and Clipboy into the back bumper of Harvick there trying to get to the inside lane go by him and now we start to work the bottom trying to find a way by Ty Dillon and Danica 
We are doing that right now. So now we're back in a rhythm now. Golden Eastern, the whole outside lane stacking up here. All the back markers going slow. Now we sail it off into three and four. Find ourselves on the top 35 there again to Gilliland. Moving from the race track. And now we're trying to race with Regan Smith from the seven. We have Eric Alarola to our inside. We're going to get Regan Straft here. And we're going to get a nice juicy run through the corner. That's going to get us what we need to get ahead of Alarola. Now we get the back of Regan Smith. Now we're going to We have to check up big time. We're still under the wall. Down the track. And around. Hold on to it. We save it. What a save we made right there. Nearly wrecking. But once again, cost us some positions that we had just gained. And out of the back of Justin Allgaier, and now we're in between him and Danica. We're going to squeeze Danica. Oh, and we got trouble. Ahead. They're wrecking up ahead of us. We're to the side of Justin Allgaier. We're going through the grass, passing the grass to get positions, and it worked. We find ourselves now inside the top 33. Barrel off into 1-2 in the back of the 42 of Larson into Kerbush. Once again, we are sideways. We're four wide on exit. Big stack Larson into us. Oh, more contact, and we're sideways. He's sideways, and we're wrecking. And a hard hits. Bang. Eric Amarol saves into us. More contact, and the caution is out for the fourth time here in Kansas. As he's gotten to Larson, he hit us, and we get lost it. And around we both went, and I got turned by Yaley into the 43. Oh, big Eric Amarol. Airtime, and Danica piles in as well. You know, nothing new for her to pile into Rex. So, uh... We're going to come down pit rows. We have worse that have engine damage than we had before when we had the incident with Kyle Busch. So on this restart from last place, we've already had a great restart jumping up in the top. Row. By the time we're going to start finish line, we're going to find ourselves in 36th place. I mean, look at there's a whole inside lane, outside lane stacking up here. And three positions galore with 15 to go, 14 to go. We find ourselves in the top 25 here into turn two. Now underneath Kevin Harvick, go right by him. The 34 day right now. We're almost nearly in the top 20 here down the back stretch. An incredible restart from ourselves. We are Hall in the mail right now. We are moving. We find ourselves in 20th now in the top 20 after one lap from 43rd. A 23 spot gain in one lap here. What a what a comeback. And we right down there put down a solid lap. And now we go to the inside. Slicing and dicing through mid the mid pack right now into 16th. Diving it way off into 1 and 2. Up the track. We keep it off the wall. We get a big run on the outside of Newman. 3 wide pass. We're going to the middle. We are home. Look at us. We are inside the top 10. We are sailing by the 47 of Almendinger. He's sideways. He's up the track. They hold on to it. We find ourselves in 7th place after 2 laps on the restart. What a a charge we have just had putting ourselves the fastest lap of the race right there and now we're gonna go by Brad Keselowski into sixth place here into one and two and we are nearly gonna be taking the lead here soon this is the best we've been running all night long at the perfect time here we're really starting to peak at the right time in this race as we're now getting a draft of one of our rivals 11 to Denny Hamlin we're going to go on the outside of Hamlin here, trying to take fifth place now. We get sideways there. We're going to get a big enough run. We're gonna, he's going to put us in the wall. I'm not too He just stuffed us in the fence as we were there. So now we're in fifth place. 11 to go. We're setting it to turn one and two, chasing down the 24, Jeff Gordon. And oh, we got the track. And coming to Jeff Gordon, out of the wall behind us. There he goes. And the caution is out here at Kansas. We have just eliminated Jeff Gordon from contention in this race. As we just sailed off too deep in the corner, just clipped him and boom, he overcorrects hard head on to the outside wall and then down into traffic. And then just gets hit at the end there by Vickers. And the caution comes out. And we are going to stay on the race track here. And we will be leading the race here on this restart with just nine to go. We're hoping for something to work out here. But we are staying out with Michael Waltrip, Cole Witt, David Gillen, Riley. A lot of us guys are running at the back of our race, staying out on this strategy, trying to make it work. And now Cole Witt gives us a bump. We hold on to it, but we slide up the racetrack, clear Michael Waltrip. And now down the back stretch, we are clear for the race lead here at Kansas. And we're going to try to drive away and get it done here and get another win on the season, hopefully. As we continue to charge forwards, doing everything we can. Oh, up, up the track, they had to check up. It's going to allow Cole Witt to gain some time here. Eight laps to go in Kansas. The question is, do we have enough fuel to go the distance here, Kansas? It's going to be close. It's, I mean, it's a real debatable call whether we can go the distance here on fuel. I mean, the guys who just pitted think they can go all the way. This is, we'll see if they can. As now we're trying to hold off Cole Witt. As we continue, we had a very good one and two there. Pulling away now down the back stretch. We gotta watch out for Biffle there in fourth. I believe he's the first car on fresh tires here. Setting up the racetrack, hanging on. 
Just barely now, Colway gaining some time back, seven laps to go, our tire's starting to get really worn, we can feel that in the corner, we can't go as far in the corner as we used to here, now we hit the apron, that's going to be a big mistake, and a big check up into the wall, we go down the racetrack, contact in the round, we're going to go, we're going to get turned by Newman, and a big hit, all of our cars going everywhere, there was Larson, Vickers climbing over us, we're in the Labani, oh there's Stiles, Jim Eyes in it. A big crash under caution once again for the sixth time because we just get up on the wall and lose it down in the track and we get dumped by Kozlowski Newman and boom air time for Kyle Larson, Brian Vickers, cars flying all over the place, piling to each other. The big one late in the race here at Kansas. And now the strategy is really going to be key. We're going to come down pit road because we have heavy damage. We have to repair that, but we're going to get fresh tires and full tanking gas. We're going to start dead last. With just five laps to go, we had a great restart here, already moving past a bunch of guys, trying to make something happen as we move through the positions. All the way now, a great restart, all the way to the top 30 into turn one and two as the outside lane got stacked up there by Stenhouse. We have to check up, got a little bit loose through one and two, and when you go to the back of the six, we move him up the racetrack, and we now find ourselves in the top 25 now, making that pass on Trevor Bain. In the three and four here, trying to make a move. We go in the middle. We're trying to get by Menard and Harvick. We're going to get there. McDowell up the track. We so we got cars coming down pit road. They don't have enough gas. Anymore. We're sideways. We're getting sent through the grass. What a save. Somehow we saved it from being completely turned full throttle through the grass. But we completely lose the pack and are now by ourselves back here. Oh, we're going to hit in the wall. Even more contact. Completely losing it. And now we're 37. The last car on the track that did not pit. As, oh, that was just a disastrous run right there. We tried to merge and we just got hit up in the wall. And nothing we could do. And now we're back here hoping more cars piss. Our only chance, and they do. Most of your leaders are coming down. Greg Biffle's in the pits. Austin Dillon now inherits the lead. Now Vickers takes it. We come to three to go. And we're going to pass a whole wave of cars coming down pit road. And to the line, we pass like eight more. We find ourselves in 14th place at the line. And now we're going to go underneath Stanhouse for 13th. We might salvage a good finish here as we pitted. So we have enough to go the distance to the end here. Now we're trying to pass Cole Whit for 12th. We had to check up, got into the wall right there. And that's going to allow Stenhouse and Cole Whit to get back around us. We fall back down to 14th. We settle back in and we dive it back off into three and four here. He's in that middle line of the racetrack. Got more guys veering off to come up here. Michael Waltrip now leading Stenhouse is in. Harvick, a couple others are in. Now we find ourselves in 10th place at the line. So now we're in the top 10 here with just two to go. Michael Waltrip looking for a win in the 66 car for, for his own team. And we just slammed Menard in the wall. And now we're trying to get back by Josh Wise and Danica. Try to pass Danica and Colwitt here for 7th down the back stretch. It's a battle. Myself and Colwitt really getting after it here. For 7th place, we dive in the corner. We're going to make that pass happen. Oh, we're going to get sideways, but we hang on. We got two more coming up the road. And Casey Mears coming in. We're 6th now. Here we are. White flag final lap from Michael Walter by Kansas. As we get by Josh Wise to find ourselves now in the top 5 here in 5th place. Wise in the wall back there. It looks like it's going to be no Ryan Blaney now. Takes the lead from Michael Walter on the last lap. Michael Walsh would have been a great moment. Now Blaney looking for a second <laughs> Mickey win of the year as he won Martinsville by stealing it from me in overtime. And to the line, Ryan Blaney going to be a two-time winner in 2015. Both of them in Mickey Mouse style backing into a win. And we salvage a fifth place finish. We get a top five here in Kansas to end the night. <sighs> we tried there. Did our best. We came back. I've Glad we got the top five. The strategy played out in the end, but still, uh, what could have been if we didn't get uh, sent through the grass there in that restart, we could we could have won this race. But uh, Ryan Blaney, two-time winner in 2015 for the Wood Brothers. Michael McDowell, a runner-up finish. Michael Walter falls in the lead down to third. JJ Yaley, fourth. Myself coming home with the top five. Fast lap of the race, four laps led. Cole Witt is in sixth. Josh Wise with the top ten and eighth. Kyle Busch ninth. Danica brings home a top ten. And you got Almond, you got down there, you got Biffle in 16th, Logano in 17th, Brad Keselowski running 18th, Denny 19th. These are all one lap down or more because of the pit stops at the end. Boyer down 24th, Vickers 25th, Edwards 26th, Tony Stewart 27th, Austin Dillon 28th, Larson 29th. You got Kurt Busch finishing in 31st, Kevin Harvick 35th, Casey Kane 36th, Stenhouse 37th, Jimmy Johnson 38th, Kenseth 30th, Jeff Gordon 40th. Truex 41st, Newman 42nd, Chase Elliott finishes in last. As Ryan Blaney, two times a winner in 2015, as he gets it done here in Kansas, we bring home fifth.
And now you look at the point standings. We are still a points leader by a very solid 54 over Brad Keselowski. Jamie McMurray, Larson, Kyle Busch, Edwards, Regan Smith, Harvick, Vickers. All the, around the top 10 area on points here after 11 races in the regular season. Now you got Tony Stewart, who's a winner this season. Clint Boyer's got a win. Down there you got Stenhouse, who's got a win in 17th. See everyone else rolling around here. We gotta find out where Ryan Blaney is in the points because Blaney is uh, very important for the playoffs. So he finds himself around the 24th place area. He's a little bit further down, around 27th or 28th in points. But he needs to stay in the top 30 in points of those two wins, which are his only top tens on the year if he wants to make the chase. See Casey Kane really struggling. Him and Newman really struggling in the points. Those Truex 34th. I'm mean, really sure Chase Elliott last in points. So until the next episode, where we'll have the uh, Spring Cup Series All-Star Race from Charlotte, I hope you all have a good one.